the king of Sanui, based in the southeast of the world's top cocoa grower, Ivory Coast, held a special exorcism ceremony last week seeking divine intervention to protect his three million subjects against the epidemic. Traditional kings and local chieftains have great authority and the event will normally have been attended by hundreds, but due to coronavirus restrictions, keeping the gatherings to less than 50 people turned up for the event. And he says, because science can't fix everything, it just can't. Take for example the virus. This little virus that we don't see, that silence everybody. Those that we call powerful, less powerful, and so on. Everybody is at the same level. Everybody hides. Today, if everybody hides, we are weak. This is a message that God is giving us. Traditional Komians, who are women healers, dress in white, purifies the royal court by sprinkling alcohol to the strains of the Abaddon, which is a traditional beat in the local community. So we'd have to do some soul searching. After this examination of conscience, we can then address the Almighty, because there is God and the King. And that is why the King made the liberation of prayers to God, a prayer to the ancestors, those who see the unseen, of being able then to help us. Such ceremonies are held to ward off natural disasters such as droughts or floods. Ivory Coast has more than a thousand cases of the new coronavirus with 14 deaths and the government has roped in traditional rulers to enforce social distancing and other measures. About 20% of the population is animist. Muslim and Christians account for 40% each and many members of the two faiths also practice animist rituals.